folks, welcome back. Oh boy, what a ride this has been. But it looks uh, like it may almost be over, at least according to Homeboy's Diary here. I still say I want to open this door and see Daniel standing there with a burlap bag. He whips the burlap bag open, pulls Agrippa's head out of it, and Agrippa's like, I'll hold your flower, kick his ass. That's still what I want to see. But <laughs> probably not. The children dancing. The stairs are steep, the sun beating on his neck as he pulls them up. Veins pop on his forearms, but he cannot deviate. He is a man driven by love, only love. Whew. All right. Okay, all right, there's a little thingy there. There's a shiny paper. Curled into my bunk, all sick and sweat-ridden. They clean my room about me, but I can only hear the voice from within that gentlest of stones. It sings to me, and I dream of a great machine. We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. We will plant flowers in the rotten rib cage and let them grow to hold the sky from falling. I remember how it whispered to me as we rolled sick and heaving, and I remembered when we pulled into Southampton and we both wept, for it was every bit as much of desecration as had been sung to me. And then we came to London, and I set it upon the mantelpiece, and went in the house, and gathered the servants, and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the... Oh, God. So that's why he didn't want the rhododendrons dug up. And when they first said, Daddy, my heart was molten, as if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun to thaw and slop. Oh, shit. I don't think that's what he's gonna find. Oh, God. Stop. No unauthorized person said. I own the damn place. Oh god. Not that way. Ugh. And you came, fell to London, and you set me upon the mantelpiece, and then you went into the house oh, and the servants, and we set you and I on it's the s oh fuck, it's the and fucking orb. Oh my god. Skulls, the fucking orb. Yeah, we need an an, an ass kicking from Daniel and Mayfair on aisle three, please. Good question. I tried. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are your eyes. 
My heart is your heart. Oh. I will fuck. rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to oh burn. Oh my god, dude. All to save them. Mm. He did. That wasn't a nightmare in the beginning. He killed his kids. Can't do anything with that just yet. Okay. Control room. Um, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? Shiny paper? And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Oh, yeah, totally. Humane, Professor. That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. That's not a very ask clear the answer. Beggar, answer. Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, Jesus. the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. Alright, there's more stuff over here. There we go. Okay. Some stuff this way, maybe? Down we go. Danger, compound X. Oh, shit. Not somewhere I want to go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh god. If I could just stand up without. Oh boy. There we go. Alright. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. See if I remember that. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Everything but seven, then, basically. Yep, no. Can't see. Have to go down there. Okay, so they're numbered weird. Back down we go. And back down we go. Oh god, do I have to open that one up too? Shit. Okay. There we go. Alright. Did not want to fall. 
fall into a vat of Brennenberg juice. Might as well just stay on my knees here. Okay. Okay, here we go. I can turn that off now. Ding. Okay. That made a thing happen. Controls and start the machine. I have almost saved you. No, I no, I don't think you have. I don't think he's going to be saving anybody. Set them all free. Nice going, man. The sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? He sounds you totally promised benevolent. me my children. My time is come. More pig. More, More pig. pig. More boy. Insert long pig joke here. Boys. Boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Welp. Amanda Saboteur. There are feats of engineering contained herein that would make even those clever fellows at the Institute reel with envy. <sighs> I wonder if there are multiple endings. There's gotta be. Oh, shit. Yeah. Wait. It's not over? And emerging. I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children oh, farewell, and I crawled my way home.
I can't re can't read while I'm climbing. So it is done. The saboteur was me, and the voice on the telephone was him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. Shit, ow. I mean, I think I'm probably about to go kill myself anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Repeatedly falling off the ladder is probably not the way to go about it. Alright, just very carefully. There we go. Warning, steam vent access only at low pressure. Um. Where are they? Where are my oh, children? Shit, I don't think it's over. Children really are the most wonderfully useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. Ew. Here's that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize the source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to fail. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes. To scrub the reconstituted fat away from our with just a short room, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast, or they risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back to the system. Oh, God. Then we will be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex. I smile, tell them I am so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. Oh, shit. Fully operational. Alright, what do I do? What else do I need to poke on here? Not that. Not that. Okay, where the hell do I go? Oh, maybe. Nope, nope, need to plug him back in. Can I just jump in there? Hell no. Isn't something obvious and stupid here? I know I am. I climb back down there. Okay, I'm confused. Am 
Oh. Shit. I'm a dumbass. Overthinking. Teddy bear. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus. But it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say oh, that? Shit. That is not me. That is not me! Piggy masks. And cradles. <sighs> okay, I'm not sure what just happened. There goes a piggy. Medicine, I says, and it's a silver spoon. What you did get born holding, ever so painful for mummy dear, but grasped so hard. It was a little screaming red fist. The spoon was the same you gave your twins. You used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole, where will you dig next? I asks you and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children, wrapped in the hair. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilybeth, what am I become? Something I did not realize in my cl first clumsy attempt at sabotage. If I reroute the steam, I can wreak havoc. Oh yeah, let's wreck some, wreck some shit. So, got to <sighs> shit breaking. Have I been through here before? Oh, it sure looks kind of familiar. Can't go that way. Steam or a pig? Not a pig. Okay. Clever old goat. No, you're a pig. Alright. Um, let's see. What the hell was this? Uh, yeah. Your pressure regulator. Well, great. Uh, if I lose 
these. I'm screwed. back where I found it for now until I figure out where the hell it's supposed to go. pipes. Oh, there yeah, still there. All right. Ugh. All right, all right. Through. All right, here we go. We still have a little bit farther to go. So, we're going to take a break, and I will see you next time, folks. Bye bye. <laughs>